Hey everybody, I recently did a video on the difference between a payment gateway and a payment processor. Now this was done, like I've said in all the videos, because of a follower request just like you. This particular question though is, I had a follower request asking about PayPal and how they process payments. So the question now is, how does PayPal process payments? Are they a processor or a gateway? Well, that one is fun to answer because the answer is, stay tuned. If you remember the first class we asked, what was a payment processor? Then in the second class we asked, what is a payments gateway? Then we went over the difference between the two and whether or not you need both. Now the question is, is PayPal a payment gateway or a payment processor? Well, PayPal is known as what we call a payment aggregator. <laughs> yeah, they're a payment aggregator and they have their own payment gateway called PayFlow. Payment aggregators do not require your business to set up a merchant account, unlike traditional payment processors. Instead, aggregators group your transactions with those of other merchants, essentially making you a sub-merchant on the aggregator's own merchant account. Payment aggregators generally have a quick and easy application process, and they may allow for much faster processing times than your conventional payment processors. It does vary, but also fees tend to be more straightforward, and sometimes they can be higher, Sometimes they can be lower, depending on the amount and the value of your transactions. I say shop around. Unlike payment processors though, aggregators generally offer fixed rates. Not always, but generally. So even as your transaction volumes do increase, the price you pay doesn't increase if you get that fixed rate. Payment processors, on the other hand, they typically offer more favorable rates to businesses with high transaction volumes or high value transactions. Again, look at all your options. But PayPal is a processor, and PayPal is one of the few processors out there that allows both businesses and individuals to accept payments, making it a very popular choice for freelancers, consultants, solopreneurs, kind of like the payments professor, and other very small businesses. It has flat rate price pricing and no contracts. So you only pay for the processing services you use. And from the latest information I've seen, you can close your account at any time without having to pay a penalty. Whew, there is a lot to that one in there. Well, there's a lot of courses that we have out there and a lot of classes we have out there. And if you wanna make sure you don't ever miss one, start by going to our YouTube channel. And while you're there, subscribe. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And if there is a class, maybe in a full course you'd like to have created, then leave a comment or email me, Kevin at Payments Professor. Kevin at PaymentsProfessor.com. If you're looking for full courses on the many payment related topics out there, especially faster payments and electronic payments, then head over to the PaymentsProfessor.com. Now, what do we do at the Payments Professor? Well, we create education that's engaging, entertaining, fun, and it's not boring and it doesn't suck. Class dismissed.